Hold on, Holmes, you are reading some penny dreadful. Here I thought to find you deep in some ancient news clippings, seeking similarities with our case, and yet you waste your time reading some outlandish adventure based upon some improbable hero. Beware of considering popular literature as unworthy of our interest, Watson. Besides, am I not myself considered by some of your readers as an improbable hero living out outlandish adventures? Holmes, you go too far. Let's not speak on this, Watson. This horrible statuette gives my nerves a shake, Holmes. This trip to Switzerland, it brings back unpleasant associations, doesn't it? Watson, those events should remain where they belong, in the past. However, I will not be joining you in Switzerland. When the train arrives in Lyon, I am afraid we must part company, as I have business elsewhere that will take some time. But Holmes... As a doctor, your impeccable credentials will allow you to ably advance our investigation at the Black Edelweiss Institute. My presence would likely only arouse suspicion and harm our cause. I am writing the name of a Swiss policeman on this piece of paper. He is stationed at the village near the Institute and is a most reliable and capable man. Turn to him should you entertain even the slightest suspicions during your visit. And you, Holmes? As for me, Watson, I will investigate this case from the other side. Keep your wits about you, Watson. Should you witness anything out of the ordinary, no matter how trifling it seems, go immediately to the valley and ask for Superintendent Bilger. I know him. He's a trustworthy fellow and has been informed of your presence in his district. He should prove to be an able ally. Here now, this is hardly reassuring. Coachman, wait for me here. How can I help you, my dear? Good day, sir. I am Dr. Watson. I have just come from London and... You must see Fraulein Muller. Please, if you could, she is over there. She was so impatient to receive your visit. She has made remarkable progress. But the doctor can explain everything far better than I. Look, here she is now. My little daughter! Good day, miss. I am Dr. Watson. I believe you have word of my visit. Indeed, doctor. Your letter said you wished to speak with Dr. Gijax. I will see if he is ready to receive you. Thank you, miss. Good morning, Dr. Watson. 
I must say, I viewed your letter with both astonishment and pride. You want to know more about our methods of treatment in order to compare them with those applied in your country? Indeed, Doctor. I am sure that we British could learn a great deal from our colleagues on the continent. You are quite right, my dear Doctor. But this professional consultation could have been managed with greater efficiency and ease by correspondence. I'm sure you can understand my time, as is yours, is quite valuable. Pray tell, what precisely brought you to the Black Edelweiss, Dr. Watson? It is quite simple. Through some random events, I encountered a man who was a former patient of yours. His actions suggested that he was suffering from such disorders as... Good morning. I am Amos Colby from the Northwood Agency of Boston, Massachusetts. Is something wrong, Doctor? Upon my word, this man who claims to be from the Northwood Agency is an obvious fraud. The true Amos Colby died and was buried just a few days ago in London. I must now tell you everything. I am here because one of your staff has engaged in a dangerous trade between this institution and parties in England. Moreover, those activities are tied to a murderous sect, which... And you think that this man could be one of them? Indeed. It is entirely within reason that he is here to eliminate any traces of their criminal enterprise, if you see my meaning. Indeed I do, Doctor. Let me show you out. I, I, I trust that... Please return at this same time tomorrow, and I promise... I will be entirely at your disposal, but I entreat you, please maintain complete discretion on these matters. May I depend on your cooperation? Most assuredly, but... Good morning, sir. How may I be of assistance? You can start by telling your men to all take a few steps back, then we can have a nice friendly... Uh, very interesting. We have indications of a personality breakdown and related paranoia. I must ask you to come with me to the examination room so we can reveal your deeper problems. Do not worry, it's nothing serious. Stand where you are! I need something. If I fill it with water, the doctor will have only a harmless injection to use. I need something. I need something. And there, it is done. Several drops alone will be enough to sedate a horse. There. That's excellent. Kunz, throw him into the holding chamber. I would feel more comfortable without this costume. However, I am here and in proper place due to Watson's singular assistance. I must remember to thank him later. Let's hope he will act according to our plan. My next move is to learn if the London kidnapper has some accomplice here. Lord, what a stench! This wretch reeks of alcohol. Taking into account his state, he has also been dosed with a good amount of some soporific.
The nurse will return soon. I must make it appear as if I am still here. The nurse will return soon. I must make it appear as if I am still here. This should complete the illusion of my presence. For how long, I can't be sure. Closed. Tight. Closed. Tight. I encourage all personnel to read Dr. Blensmoth's book. When you finish with it, please leave it here for your colleagues, Dr. Gijax. I must hide and avoid the nurse, else he will raise an alarm, and I must find some means of neutralizing him. Perhaps I could put him to sleep somehow. A scale. This won't be of any use to me. An old puppet, almost as welcoming as Fraulein Muller. What are you doing out there, huh? Hmm? Hmm? You, you are not a nurse. Come on, get me out of here. I'm very sorry, my friend. I can't help you as I'm just passing by. I'm not your friend. I am Maurizio. I can promise you won't get very far if you don't set me free. My cries will bring the entire hospital on your trail. Well, my friend, I, I mean Maurizio, it looks like you have logic on your side, but I don't have the key to your cell, and the door looks quite solidly built. What do you make of our dilemma? The door may be solid, but the lock is worthless. <laughs> there is a room at the end of the corridor, where the repairman from the mainland stores his supplies. <laughs> I am positive there is a crowbar inside. <laughs> The key is hidden in a crack near the door, <laughs> as he's afraid of losing it. <laughs> Come back for me when you get the crowbar. <laughs> Attention. Reconstruction and installation of water pipe. Dangerous. Do not enter. Oh, we shall definitely enter. I must measure them first, before taking them.
The diameter of this pipe is 22 millimeters. The diameter of this pipe is 16 millimeters. The diameter of this pipe is 18 millimeters. The diameter of this pipe is 10 millimeters. Bless you. And here you are. Greetings. Careful. You best not linger here. If they find you, they will throw you down below. Into the depths. Into hell. What's he doing there? Stop him, quickly. Stand where you are. It seems that Maurizio finally attracted some attention. Excellent. Now the stairs are clear and I may return upstairs. I must hide and avoid the nurse, else he will raise an alarm, and I must find some means of neutralizing him. Perhaps I could put him to sleep somehow. This is a letter from Gijax, as this is clearly his signature. I don't understand. Stones? What stones could he mean? Blensmoth's book, Mind, Its Strength and Its Secrets. Hmm, promising title. This book appears to be an inventory ledger. However, it is in code and I don't have the time to properly decipher it. I see Dr. Gijax's signature at the bottom of each page. Interesting, this book must detail his shipments to England. This letter is dated two weeks ago. Strange, these appear to be pink crystals. These boxes contain chlorine. This box contains bottles labelled Black Edelweiss, which are identical to those found in the London sect hideouts. As I suspected, they most definitely came from here. I will take one.
This product is primarily composed of potash, which, if blended in precise proportions with water and chlorine, creates a spectacular smoke. But I will also need a bottle or container of some sort. These cans won't do. They're too large. I have no reason to go there. I am too obvious in my present attire and will attract unwanted attention. I must change my clothing. Closed. Tight. I am too obvious in my present attire and will attract... As long as I keep my distance, I now appear as if I am a male nurse. Nurse, make him stop. He must stop that. What is the problem, madam? Bauer must stop at once. <laughs> the birds have not been fed for two days. Bauer must have taken the seed. Ha <laughs> ha! I want them to fly. Fly out, fly out. <laughs> when they fly, birds will be everywhere. And all the men in white will run all around. Run, run, everywhere. <laughs> yes, fly, little men, after the birds. <laughs> run here, run there, run everywhere, men in white. Run, run, run. <laughs> they won't see me, the men in white. Chase the little birds far, far away from here. Then I will go when I like. Go here, go there, go everywhere. <laughs> Extraordinary. These are all bird variants that can speak. Now my smock will not help me. I must avoid being noticed.
closed tight. Excuse me, miss. Go away, you swine! Leave, or I'll make you bleed! Oh... Oh... Where... Where are you, Heidi? Where are you? Don't leave me all alone, Heidi! Oh. <laughs> Closed tight. Closed tight. Closed tight. I must be careful to avoid attention. I should find a way to get rid of the nurses so I may quietly move about this floor and speak with the patients. Who... who are you? You are not the nurse. Give them to me. I beg you. What do you need? Small pink crystals, please. In the laboratory. Here is your medicine. Now, please, if I could just ask you a few questions. They must be dissolved in water. Water? Yes, there is some in the garden. Here it is, my friend. You must tell me where. Make the male nurse leave, and I will tell you anything you want. All right, where is the key to the aviary? The mad girl. Bring her doll to her. She knows. I should find a way to get rid of the nurses so I may quietly move about this floor and speak with the patients. Look who is here to see you, miss. Heidi! Heidi! You are here! The bad men took you away, but you came back. Heidi told me she wanted to come back to you. She also told me that you know how to free the kind birds from their cage. Bad men took Heidi away, 
They said I was a bad girl because I cut off the head of that nasty brute. But he started it. He was bad first. He did terrible things, this bad man? Oh, yes. He came in the night for us. He took Heidi and I to his room, near the birds. And he was very, very nasty with me. He had the key to the bird's house and said if I wasn't a good girl, he would send them away. I didn't like that because Heidi loves the birds. So, my child, the key to the birdhouse is upstairs in his room? Yes, it's there. Now the lady lives there, but I am not allowed to see the birds any more. Thank you very much. What is that, Heidi? Oh, you want to thank the gentleman. And you have a present for him. What a sweet girl you are. Oh, I agree. Heidi wants to thank you and says to tell you a secret. When I cut the bad man's head, she didn't want him to ever come back. So she hid the key in her belly. We are in your debt, young lady, and our humble thanks to you, Heidi. Heidi, child of the mountains. Fräulein Muller does not seem particularly gifted. Truly, art in the blood can take the strangest forms. A lovely piece. I must say it's the highlight of this exhibition, but I dare say it shall prove useful. Macrame, a healthy occupation for modern women, by Calipigi Mubala Smith Papadopoulos. And look at this, it is a signed edition. This splendid macrame design is protecting the bottle. This must be the key to the aviary. to the bird cage is open. Help us. <laughs> the birds have escaped. Quick, catch them. 
catch them! Thanks to the panic, all the nurses will be elsewhere, as Bauer would say. <laughs> While the guards are busy trying to catch the birds, I should use the opportunity to search the rest of the asylum. Following the unintentional fire caused by uninspired staff members, I made the decision to forbid access to the kitchen and dining room to all staff other than Frau Meyer and myself. It is necessary to get this dragon to leave so I can freely examine the kitchen. Perhaps if I can create smoke, she will go into a panic and leave, thinking there is a fire. I must take care to measure the precise dose. It is done. Here is the bottle with adequate water. I must calculate its capacity as accurately as possible if my smoking apparatus is to work. Now I know the exact capacity of the bottle. My smoking device is ready. I must say, a room filled with smoke shall be difficult to examine, but there is no other way. A truss for roast beef.
the attendant is gone. Ah, I'm very glad. But you are not an attendant? No, my good man, I am not. I arrived from London to investigate private charges of embezzlement against this establishment. You came all the way from London? Why would anyone choose to come to this godforsaken place? Indeed, I have just arrived from London and my reasons will soon be clear. Listen to me, I know you do not belong here. You are not mad, merely the victim of a trap that only the most expert specialists could untangle. More importantly, you are the only person here who can give me the information I require. If you could speak with me, assuming your pain has not returned, I would be in your debt. But who are you? Someone who could guarantee your freedom once my objectives are secured. But I have little time, and you must listen to me carefully. Did you hear the staff or other inmates speak on any suspicious activities other than the horrible mistreatment you have all suffered at the hands of the staff? You are from English Customs, then? You must be interested in the arrival of illegal foreign lunatics in your country. What makes you say this? Well, some time ago, they removed all the foreigners from their cells, and they were never seen or heard from again. Perhaps they were shipped into your country, without the usual formalities? Those foreigners, where did they come from? I don't know exactly, because oddly, they never associated with the rest of the inmates. They arrived regularly, one or two fellows per month. Most peculiar. Did they speak among themselves? I could hear them trying to talk to one another, but it seemed as if they couldn't understand each other, as if each spoke a different dialect. Also, none of them seemed mad in the least. And then there was one other odd event. They were downstairs, and it was shortly before their departure. I strained to hear them and could barely make out their conversation. This time, they all seem to speak the same language. And what is even stranger, they seem to be saying the same thing repeatedly. You must rest now, but don't lose hope, as I am here to help. I am afraid I must leave you now. If you need to know other information, you can see me when you like. people and here I am alone. What should be done? I have to create a system to use this lever in distance. times three is nine. Two times five is ten. Pardon me, sir. Could I trouble you for some information? Nasty, nasty cheat. I shall say nothing to you. Three times seven is twenty-one. Three times eight is twenty-four. I shall speak only to Professor Schwartz. He understands that I have learned all my lessons. Three times nine is twenty-seven. Apparently he will speak only with this professor. Perhaps the medical files on this man Wolf will be helpful.
closed tight. There should be a passageway leading from one side to the other of this wall. Perhaps someone here knows something about it. This door is quite solidly built, but the lock is rudimentary. Never again will I go out on a case without a small spoon at my side, though likely Watson would envy me this valuable implement. There is a body inside. I am glad I spared Watson this horror. This place conceals deeds far more sinister than the mere traffic in dangerous goods. This well must empty directly into an underground river. Who could have forgotten this? I don't know what this guy Jack's studied, but judging by his office and what I saw before, he is more dangerous than any of his patients. The Worship of Ghouls by Count Derlet. I do not think this book would give the reader pleasant dreams if reserved for bedtime reading. This man seems to suffer from every possible mental affliction. Judging by the date of his admission, he must be one of the oldest patients here. Hmm. The former hospital director researched his case and mentions Wolf's professor. Apparently, he was the only person of influence with the poor fellow. There is even a portrait of the late professor included in with the reports. So this is Professor Schwartz. A cable from New Orleans sent in the last few weeks. If the shipment of these goods from New Orleans relies upon a transfer of funds from Europe, it is possible the actual exchange won't take place for a few weeks. There may still be time to intervene.
there's a small label that says classroom. Closed tight. Hold on, there is an oily stain on this letter. It smells of iodine. Interesting. Unbelievable, these letters are from various Swiss banks and show that the doctor made several sales of precious stones over these last months and each time for higher profit. He must have access to a real treasure. I see numerous transfers were made to an account holder in the Bank of London and another in a bank here in New Orleans. I must take note of these transactions. I can pick this lock. This lock is too complex for this tool. The faint signs remaining on this blackboard are in phonetics. It appears that people were forced to recite some text with no real understanding of its meaning. It's a pity that the text was erased. I feel great pity for the patients who must have been tied to this machine. What's this? A battery with a crank starter, no doubt used to stimulate his patience. A notebook detailing the experiments conducted by Mr. Gijax. These birds are from the aviary. They served a purpose beyond mere decoration. I believe I'm close to finding what I need. Do you know this man downstairs, the one perpetually reciting his multiplication tables? Yes, he is Wolf, but you will get nothing from him. He will only speak with one man, this Professor Schwartz, but I believe he died a long time ago. Perhaps the medical files on this man Wolf will be helpful. This should prove useful. And now time to become the good Professor Schwartz and pay a visit to Wolf.
Who is this anonymous patient? Perhaps there is a file on him, as with the other patients. So, Wolf, I see you have mastered your lesson. Splendid. P -p professor Schwartz? I congratulate you, Wolf. I cannot say the same about your other classmates. I am most unhappy with their behavior, because it seems they have been cheating. Professor Schwartz, you saw them, didn't you? I know my lessons. I always work so hard, and the others, they crib from me. I know, my boy, I know. But their leader, he is a doctor, isn't he? Yes, Professor, yes. He is the most vile member of the group. Sometimes he tries to keep me from my lessons. He says he will treat me like the others who don't speak like us and who scream so very loud when he punishes them. But I keep to my lessons and recite my tables all the day. He can't stop me. That's good, my boy. You have made me proud. Now, I need your help. Where do they meet? I must find them and make sure they get the punishment they so rightly deserve. They meet over there, but it is well hidden and only the doctor has the code. First, he makes noise with the fire near his office. Afterwards, he makes noise with the fire in front of me. And then he makes noise behind me. You will see he does not know his lessons. Thank you, Wolf. That's a clever boy. You have earned high marks this term. But for now, you must try to recite your lessons in silence. Since I am the professor, I know and see everything. There is never a need to shout. As you say, Professor Schwartz. I don't need it anymore. Ah, here's the file I was seeking. It can only be our mysterious patient. What a strange character. Simplicity itself. My apologies, but I do not understand what you are trying to say. If I may introduce myself, I am... Who you are means nothing. All that matters is your reverence to the One. 
You came to invoke the great lord with the speaking. And now I ask you, who am I, you wretched mortal? Even your pitiful mind can find enlightenment before serving as food for the servants of chaos. Where are all those poor souls kidnapped in London? And what about the others who pass through here in their travels? Your search is in vain. You are nothing to the great lord. Soon he will heed our call when those Titans will be reassembled for the awakening of their king. The sleeping lord shall walk the earth. You and your kind will tear your flesh when you learn how your lives insult the great lord and master. You will plead for the abyss, as have all those before you who fed the great one. Those who give their weak flesh to our Lord cry for his return. So shall you. He has lain dreaming, silent, hungry, awaiting his followers. Tremble in awe. Behold, the Great One returns. He makes so much noise. I'd better be on my way before he attracts the entire staff. I must be careful to avoid attention. No challenge here, it is a primitive lock. Any simple metal tool should allow me to force it. Pardon me, sir, I need your help. He does not seem to hear me. M Moriarty! Moriarty, my worst enemy and a man who was presumed dead. Who could think this demon could have survived such a great fall at Reichenbach? He seems a shadow of his former self. There is no doubt he has truly lost his memory and therefore cannot be a part of these events. Find this outsider as quickly as possible and bring him to the treatment room. I shall take care of his memory. Professor, do you hear that voice? This man who is speaking to two others, a man of great intellect and ability, who is approaching and is even now right behind that door. You know him, Professor. Come now, Professor. You can't have forgotten so easily. 
Let me remind you, Professor. I am going to reveal his identity. I will tell you his name. You know him well, Professor. He is... Sherlock Holmes. Stand where you are. At last, the laundry. First of all, I must prepare my Amos disguise. It is the imposter! He is here! I'll sort you out, buddy. Come here. The doctor is not here. We had internal concerns arise today. Herr Director is engaged with urgent hospital matters and cannot be disturbed. Very well. We will take this troublesome wretch along with us. Perhaps tomorrow the doctor and I will be able to discuss our other matter. First of all, my friend, you should know that you have been dealing with two famous professionals. Your deceit has failed, and you should know that it is impossible to confound us. Who are you? And why have you come here? What is your opinion, Watson? Uh, Holmes! But, but what are you doing here? And you are as white as a sheet. It seems as though you met a ghost. It's quite possible, Watson. Quite possible. You should have told me about your plans, Holmes. Definitely not, Watson. You would have acted in an unnatural manner and done everything to persuade me against my course of action. You can be sure of that. Good God, Holmes, think of the risk you took. Indeed, Watson, and I hesitate to reveal my further plans. They are likely to be far more dangerous. Will you explain? Even though I know the crux of this affair began in Europe, and even perhaps in England, we have no elements indicating the when, the where, and the how. Our only lead would have us travel to a continent not our own, one that is wild and untamed in many ways. I assume that you now know the name of our next destination. You are quite correct, Watson. New Orleans, Louisiana, located in the wilds of America, our nemesis has a group of his men there, and we must arrive in time to stop them. We must make haste to Le Havre and book ship's passage immediately. I took precautions before our departure from Switzerland, but it is imperative we maintain the utmost secrecy regarding both our true identities and our destination. We are dealing with a cunning and powerful adversary, Watson. Quite powerful. Do you require assistance, young man? Ah, yes, young man. As a Mr. Ho, um, the big detective, it is often necessary to use all of one's little grey cells to solve great mysteries. Hercule! Hercule! Where are you? Oh, here you are. Naughty boy, come along now. Madame Poirot, your stop is coming soon. An agent will assist you with your luggage. 